Hello, today I'm going to be talking about how to monitor the advertisements you have running on Amazon Marketing Services, otherwise known as AMS. And this is done through the AMS website, specifically the Campaign Manager, and here's how you get started. Go to ams.amazon.com, you'll see a page, should look something like this. I'm assuming you already have an account because you've created ads in the past. Click the sign in link. You might be prompted for your email address and password. Plug that in. And if you do not see a screen like this, go to Advertising Campaign Manager. You should see it. Get rid of these little bubbles that blow up here. So first of all, when you're monitoring your ads, there's a couple different things you might be looking for. One of them are ads that got rejected for some reason. That is, you created the ad, um, or let's say LinkedIn PD interest. My publishing company sells a book called LinkedIn in 30 Minutes by author Angela Rose. And I created this ad and it was rejected for some reason. Um, this is a name I created and I, I think I added the number one there by accident. But it, Amazon rejected it and usually it's because of something that you might put in the headline or the uh, description of the product and Amazon doesn't like it for some reason. And things that they rejected me in the past are uh, stuff like putting quotation marks in the advertisement or capitalizing a word that shouldn't be capitalized. So you'll get rejected, but you can go back and edit it or delete the ad and start all over again. Amazon's pretty forgiving about that particular problem, and usually it's not hard to correct. But what's more interesting to me are the, um, the, the some of the numbers below here to monitor the health of your campaigns. So here is a list of my campaigns. I'm actually going to show, I'm going to put all of them here. I have something like 150 or 200 campaigns going on, including ones that are uh, rejected or pending review or running or pause. Uh, but just to, just to give you an idea, I, I run a lot of campaigns. And I look at this screen, this campaign manager screen, just to get an idea of how campaigns are doing and then sometimes tweaking some things to make them perform a little bit better. And this is what I do. So I, I'll come to this screen. Usually, the way that it's organized, the default view is the most recent ads you've created are at the top, and then the oldest ads are at the bottom, which is helpful if you want to look at things in a reverse chronological order. Like, oh, I created this fan chart bundle sponsored product ad, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago. How is it doing? Now, a couple things will will stand out to me when I look at this page. And first of all. I want to check the ads that are running. I don't really care about the ones that are paused. They're not doing anything right now. But how the, the ads that are running, I want to see how they're performing. And starting with this one, Google Book Product Display Targeted. This is an ad for a book that I sell about Google Drive and Docs. I created it a couple weeks ago. You can see the impressions, 63,000, the clicks. CPC, ACPC means the average cost per click. So every time one of these 97 people clicked on the ad, I paid an average of 14 cents for a total spend. And this is just month to date. If I wanted to, I could change it to lifetime. But in the month to date, for the past two weeks, I've spent 13, almost $14 in clicks. Estimated total sales. That is the sales on Amazon. That is the people who bought this book, the money they paid to Amazon. That's the total right there. And the issue with that is that's not the amount I will get. That's the amount Amazon will get. They will then give me a share of that of the uh, of the of the proceeds, and then that will be my net. It won't be my profit. It will be my net because uh, then I have to consider how much I paid for to produce the book, how much I'm paying for advertising and other costs. So this num these two numbers here, the estimated total sales in ACOS, which means average cost of sales, that's the spend you've made on Amazon. To um, so the thirteen dollar fourteen dollars I've spent on this ad has created thirty five dollars in sales on Amazon. That's that, that represents forty percent. So fourteen dollars is about forty percent of this figure here. The problem is this is not the amount I'm making. I'm not making thirty four seventy nine from that. I'm spending thirteen seventy six, thirteen dollars and seventy six cents, but I'm making a lot less than that. I think. I'm just going to estimate the net that my company is getting from Amazon after they take their cut 
is probably around 22 or 23 dollars something like that so actually the uh, average cost of sales is not the number I'm interested in. I'm more interested in the average cost of net, but they don't show that. Amazon doesn't show that. In fact, it might be difficult for Amazon to calculate that. But in any case, I, I treat these numbers with a grain of salt because they don't really reflect the amount of money that I'm getting. But it's a, it's, it's a start. I look at these numbers and for instance, like take a look at this. This, this uh, campaign down here, Microsoft Word hardcover product display. I've only spent $2.65, but I've sold on Amazon nearly $40 or $39 worth of product based on those ads. So that's pretty good. That's a ACOS of 6.8%. 6, 6 um, and even after, you, even after Amazon takes its cut, it will, that number will still be low. So you want these numbers to be low, and that's good. But let's go back to this ad again, this, this, this one where I'm, you know, I'm spending $13 and I'm you know, Amazon selling $35, but probably I'm only getting $22. So my net is probably around 70 or 80%. And that's not really great. I might want to tweak this ad a little bit. So let's actually do that right now. Let's make some adjustments based on the data I'm seeing right here. So I click on the name of the ad. And I'll see some information about it. One, I'll see the CPC bid. That's the cost per click. That means the maximum amount of money somebody will pay if they click on one of the ads that I created that are part of this campaign. And here's what the ads look like. So if someone clicks on this ad, the maximum they will pay right now is 22 cents. So I might want to adjust that. Target products management. This is a product display ad, so it's showing up on other products. So I might want to, maybe one thing I could do is I could add some new products to uh, display the, the book again. So maybe there's a new book about Microsoft Office. And I can have the ad appear there. And that might improve, actually, let's do this, Microsoft Office book. All right. So I'm going to add these as well. And maybe that will improve the performance. Let's add those. So I just made the list a little bit bigger. I could look at some other reports. Um, one issue with downloading the reports from Amazon, the, the advertising performance is you have to have a, a program like Excel or Google Sheets to really look at the data. And Amazon doesn't make the data easy to understand uh, in terms of performance. I actually find this data here is more helpful than the downloads that I can get. So just based on what I can see up here in terms of the, um, the spend, average cost per click, total sales, that's more interesting to me. A couple other figures to know there, a CTR means click-through rate. That means for 63,000 impressions, about 100 people have clicked, and that equals a click-through rate of 0.15%. DPV means how many people actually look at the detail page. That is the product page for Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. That's the book I'm advertising. Okay. So w one thing I've done to kind of try to improve the performance of the ad is to um, you know add some more related products to target the ad against. I can also change the bid. So maybe if it's not performing that, if it's I'm spending a lot of money but I'm not getting a lot of results, I can lower that. So I'm going to lower that to 20 cents. And then also I might want to I might want to change the end date because it's not performing so well. So if it if that keeps up, that's not really good for me. So I'm gonna change the end date on this to September the 15th, which is three months in the future. Okay, so I've changed some metrics there. Now the ACOS, maybe in a couple weeks I'll come back and look at these figures and see if they've changed. So I want this number to come down, average cost of sales. And I want this number to go up, the total sales. Um, but I won't be able to tell the results for a couple weeks. Um, so you have to kind of be patient about these things. The changes won't occur right away. And also, when sales occur, it takes a couple days for the results to show up in the AMS dashboard. So anyways, that's a very basic way to kind of monitor the ads. You take a look at the, the estimated sales. It also, if something, if you create an ad and you're seeing something like, there's no impressions, 
uh, or there's, you're spending money and nothing's happening, you might want to consider whether it's even good to have that ad running. So like, look at this one, pedigree chart bundle. I've been running this for about 10 days now. I haven't made a single, Amazon doesn't even generate any impressions, possibly because my bid is too low. So one thing I could do is I could go in here and increase the bid, or I could just pause this. In fact, let's do that. You just press this button. Hello. Select pause. Okay. And then the other thing I want to look at is campaigns where it's creating impressions, like this one, Google hardcover product display ad. I'm spending money, but I'm not making any sales at all. There won't even be an ACOS because $2.29 to put in, you know, over $0 equals zero. So this is something where I'm spending money and I decided to actually pause that particular advertisement because it's not effective. So for more information on how to use AMS, how to get the most out of your campaigns, I have a whole bunch of videos on creating and managing campaigns, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.